Thank you everybody for being here today. It's very important. Um, I find it interesting that Ray pulled out his constitution because yesterday my team and I on tour to peace we tried to go to the court martial at Fort Meade and we got stopped at the gate because we have you know anti-war pro-justice bumper stickers and plaques on our car on the support van and the guy said the guy said uh, take those off and we said no we're not going to take them off don't we have our first amendment right to free speech and expression you know what he said he goes ma'am you can do it out there pointing to the street but in there is a federal installation and i'm like is it the constitution a federal document don't you swear an oath to protect and defend it and but no we got turned away at the gate because we refused to let them abrogate our constitutional rights you know we wanted to go support bradley but isn't bradley in there didn't he do what he's doing to highlight the hypocrisy of this system you know so we have something up our sleeve but we can't say it <laughs> stay tuned so anyway I was here, uh, I had a group called Peace of the Action in 2010 and we had a protest in front of the CIA against drones in January of 2010, right? Yep. And it was, uh, it was cold, a lot different temperature that day, it was in January, so um, I always complain whatever temperature it is, or I'm never happy. So anyway, I just rode my bike from Potomac and I am sweating like a like a pig because I'm on a bike ride toward a piece across the country. And three days after Obama was elect was inaugurated, he had his first drone strike in Waziristan, killed thirty six innocent people. I sent out something to my my email list saying Wow, three days in and he's already a war criminal, a presidential war criminal. And can we say that? Yes. Can we say if Bush was a war criminal, then Obama is a war criminal? Yes. Can we say that? Yes. Can we say we want George Bush and Dick Cheney in prison, but we want, we want Barack Obama and, and Brennan in prison too, yes. right? from Pakistan and they said Cindy thank you we didn't think anybody in the United States cared about us and we have to keep calling our leaders to account because like Ray said they have made the Constitution a joke they have invalidated it it works for it work they have to, they use it against us but we can't use it against them they are the enemies of the Constitution. Anybody who arrests us, anybody who prevents us from protesting or marching, they are enemies of the United States of America. And the people in other countries are not our enemies. Our enemies are here. Our enemies are at in Capitol Hill. Yeah. Our enemies are at 1600 Pennsylvania yeah. Avenue. Yeah. And so we need to, um, I'm having a protest there on Wednesday. If anybody wants to come, we're going to deliver a list of demands. And we're, is that, we're meeting at Arlington at 9 a.m. We're going to ride across the Memorial Bridge and be in the, at the White House by 10. So come! Because uh, earlier someone said we can't give up. It gets frustrating, doesn't it? Yeah. It gets frustrating coming out day after day, month after 
Vermont year after year. Thank you for not paying for that award. Right, and she said thank you for not paying the wars because I don't pay for anything. I don't pay my taxes. I don't pay for these drones. I don't pay their salaries. I don't pay for the wars. But it gets frustrating. And you know what? They want us to give up. They want to keep making it harder and harder and harder for us to survive or to be 